Immediately, they go to close quarters. Marciano in dark trunks has short arms. His reach is only 67 inches, eight inches shorter than lane 75. So it's to his advantage to stay in close. Rocky pressuring. Marciano misses the left hook, and Lane answers by punching back to the head. Lane's the favorite tonight. Ringsiders are still talking about the way this 23-year-old slugger knocked out hard-punching Bob Satterfield and outpointed an old cutie like Jersey Joe Walker, who later was to become heavyweight champion of the world. Lane tries a right to the head. That's his most damaging punch. Watch him, and you'll see him throw that right again. And again. Because of that powerful right, and because he emerged from the same Rocky Mountain district that produced Jack Dempsey, Lane has been compared with the Manasseh Mauler. You remember Dempsey had a devastating right, too. Marciano working on Lane inside with short hooks to the jaw and body. He has a big right-hand punch, too. Lane bullies Marciano to the rope. Working on the body, he makes Rocky miss with both hands. Later on, we'll find Marciano, the smaller, lighter man, doing most of the bullying. Lane tries another right, but Marciano moves inside the punch. Rocky about to miss a right uppercut, but he connects with a left to the jaw, and they go to close quarters, each man seeking an opening. Have you noticed Lane is carrying a bit of excess suet? He's heavy around the midsection, an indication he may not be in peak condition tonight. Watch this left to the jaw by Marciano. At this stage in his career, Rocky was mostly a right-hand puncher. But trainer Charlie Goldman has been at work, developing the slugger's left. And later in Marciano's career, it became a potent weapon. Most of the fighting at short range, there's Lane getting off, as they say in the trade. But you see Marciano, well covered, well protected. Marciano, about to miss a right, will land a smashing left hook, followed by a right to the jaw. Rocky much quicker than Lane at following through after a miss. Lane, a glancing right to the body. Marciano's been pressuring, so Rex moves him away. Now watch him try another right. Rex Lane punching well and making a strong showing at the end of round one. A hard left hook to the head by Marciano, and they move to close quarters. So far, most of the fight has been fought at short range. We know why Rocky wants it that way. He has short arms. Apparently, Rex has been instructed to stay in close, too, in order to keep Marciano's long-range guns at a disadvantage. A long overhand right by the Brockton strong boy opened a gash over Lane's left eye in round two. You notice Lane has been fighting from a more pronounced straight-up stance. He has a broad back and heavy legs. Marciano has heavy legs, too. He was a football player in high school and had a tryout as a big league catcher. He says he would have remained in baseball, but his arm went sour. Yet there's nothing wrong with the way he's winging his right tonight. Watch. Marciano's left hook to the jaw forces Lane to the rope. A right uppercut by Rocky before Rex fights his way back and holds. See how they keep crowding each other? Neither one giving the other man much room to punch. That's been the pattern throughout these first three rounds. followed by a right, Sanger's lane. Now keep watching for some of the best action of the fight so far. Marciano, dancing back, prepares to fire a smashing right that buckles the knees of Rex Lane. That punch took its toll, and Lane is forced to hold.
Rocky Wild with a left as he tries to press his advantage. And now you see the very first sign that Lane may be tiring. He seems to be leaning all over Marciano. Lane tries a right to the jaw and bullies Marciano to the ropes again. Rex is powerful despite his deceiving butterball body. He's 23 years old, three years younger than Rocky, but you notice he's a good deal slower in his action. A ponderous type of puncher, Rex often is slow to react to openings. Rocky, missing with both hands, goes into a deep crowd. But he can't throw any punches from that position. Later in his career, he's to perfect that crouch into one from which he can attack. Both men seem to be floundering at the end of round three. A round of good bruising action. The fans, some 12 and a half thousand of them, in the garden, are enjoying the fight. That's Lane's manager, Marv Jensen, on the right, working on the gash over Rex's left eye. A gash opened by a hard right from Marciano in the latter part of the second round. We're going to see Rex change his strategy here in round four. Instead of working in close, he's going to try to keep Marciano away so that he can get in some long-range shots where he generates power. A roundhouse right by Marciano. No change in his plan. He's going to keep right on crowding, pressuring, firing body blows at close range where he can use his short arms to advantage. Watch those body blows. They're going to take a lot of steam out of Rex Lane. Another power-packed right by Marciano. Both men, remember, are heavy right-hand sluggers. Watch Marciano curl an overhand right around Lane's shoulder, then shove him to the canvas. That was no knockdown. Still, Rocky tries to follow through with another roundhouse right to the jaw. Both men missing. You see Lane scoring a solid right to the jaw, and Marciano short with his counter right. Have you noticed right along how Marciano keeps moving in? Even at this stage of his career, he was showing tremendous determination. Watch Lane in white trunks. From time to time, you'll see him hold Marciano, an indication to veteran ringsiders that the Westerner is tiring. Marciano keeps moving in to fire at short range. That's where he wants to be, in close. Watch. A good right to the body by Marciano. Those body blows are taking considerable steam out of Rex Lane, more than he shows. tangled up. Neither able to find punching room at the end of round four. Lane's cornermen are concerned with that gash over his left eye as they remove his mouthpiece. That's Charlie Goldwyn toweling Marciano's face. Marty Weil, his manager of record, at Rocky's right. His left eye impaired. That's his front eye so to speak. No wonder then Rex Lane's cornermen are so concerned with that cut over Rex's left eye. A cut blasted open by an overhand right of Marciano's in the second round. Lane backs Marciano to the rope, but you see, he fails to land a single punch.
Again, Rocky tries the offensive crouch. And you notice, he keeps his jaw well protected from uppercut. But his crouch is still a bit awkward. Marciano wings a right that throws him off balance. So far in the fight, he's been missing most of his long-range shots. But that right is the weapon that spells trouble for Lane. Those body blows, too, by Marciano are beginning to show on Rex Lane. Plenty of target for Marciano to shoot at. That Lane's a big, broad boy. A good left hook to the jaw by Marciano. Now you'll see him bounce a right off Lane's head. Another left hook. And another glancing right. Rocky piling on the pressure here in round five. Lane shows signs of tiring. He's becoming flat-footed. His reflexes are starting to go. It seems to be an effort for him to maneuver now. Watch Lane cock his right, only to catch a haymaker right from Marciano. Rocky beat him to the punch. Definitely, Lane is tired. He's dropping his guard from time to time, if you notice. Both men have been missing hard rights. Khan, the referee. Watch Marciano wind up a right, then change his mind and shoot in the left. It missed. Rocky still hasn't learned how to handle that left. Not until his fight with Harry Matthews more than a year later did he gain full control of that weapon. Marciano's left merely grazes Lane. He misses a sweeping right, then another left before Lane ties him up. The end of round five. Rex Lane's a tired boy as he returns to his corner. Marv Jensen on the right, Lane's manager, is still concerned about that gash over Rex's left eye. Trainer Goldman rubs Marciano's neck and sends him out for round six, destined to be the final frame in this scheduled ten-round bout to establish a contender for the heavyweight crown. Lane's tired. He's completely flat-footed now. The cumulative effect of Rocky's punches have brought him to the verge of collapse. Rocky jabs with his left, and here it comes. You'll see Marciano fire a long-range right that stuns Rex Lane, and then he tumbles forward to the canvas. Referee Mark Kahn picks up the count. It's 10 and out for Rex Lane, who hasn't moved a muscle. He's really out. And Rocky waves a right on high. That is the job.